Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is make it so our enemy ship can actually damage our character. And it's really really simple to do. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our prefabs in our resources folder and we're going to see we've already got an enemy bullet we can use so it's perfect. But what we're also going to do is apply the particles to it so it's really simple. So I'm going to drag enemy bullet out and I'm going to drag fireball out and I'm going to drag enemy bullet into fireball so it's a child of it put it at 0000 so it's the exact same position then I can drag enemy bullet and particles out continue and put particles in enemy bullet just a quick way to put particles on it so now it's got particles I can stick it back on enemy bullet and then I can attach it to our character not character enemy just like that perfect so now they will shoot a particle fired bullet perfect so what's next is we go to our character and go to our collision script so I'm going to put it inside on trigger enter so as soon as the bullet hits us it damages us really simple so I'm going to come down and under here I'm going to copy all the potions one and just paste it and we can rename it to damage and we can get rid of this bit and then we can start working on it so call.gameObject.name because we're not using a tag to do this one we're going to use a name and we're going to set enemy bullet clone and it's going to be a clone because we're instantiating it so it'll be cloned then we're going to come down here and copy these two lines here, well, um, seven or so. Paste it in here, and I'm just going to use the quick cheat um, where you use no brackets for your if statement because we don't need them, and I'll make it the shorter. So it'll come down, and I'm going to get rid of the um, time not delta time, like so. I'm going to turn the damage up just a little bit for 2020 so it just packs more of a punch, and then I'm going to come down here and type destroy call dot game object. So it'll come down, it'll fire, if our character's hit by the enemy bullet it'll come down, is your shield less than so and so, if it is, take your shield down, otherwise take your health down, then destroy it. So that should work really really well. So we can go back and test it. So we're going to go up and we're going to find our ship, and we have apparently not assigned a bullet. No, it turns out we never assigned a bullet, so we're going to type enemy, okay it's not assigning it, so we're going to go up, prefab, enemy bullet, boom, try again so we're going to find him and we're going to go come here. Your here. Say your final so as you can see it's dramatically taking our health down now if you, just going to pause that, if you kept the time not delta time on I still think that looks weird, but okay um, then it'll so it'll take it down every second so it'll instead of going 50 50 50 50 while it hits you it doesn't it goes 0 0.50 for seconds because it times it by second it's just really weird you can test it if you like but I'm going to keep it like that so it really damages you another cool thing what we're going to do is just clone a couple more ships and get some more out there so we've currently got this ship and if we go to our misc scripts we've got first ship red ship that's the ship okay so we're going to duplicate it and we're going to drag it all the way across here and do we have no we don't no mind so I'm going to make this ship a bit different so I'm going to find the material hopefully mesh render at walls there so it's got the walls material that's not what it needs so we're going to go in here textures folder and we're going to right click create folder entities and it is I forgot how to spell it Let's go to our scripts folder. Entity. How did I forget to spell that? Entities. In here, we're going to right click create material. And we're going to put red ship. And we're going to tint it red. Easy enough. Duplicate it. And we're going to tint this one blue. So one of them will be a police ship. But one of them will be a bad guy ship, hopefully. So, I know it is a bit weird that we've done one one, but yeah. So this will be called red ship. Easy enough. And this one will be called blue ship. Like so. So we're going to zoom in on blue ship and we'll attach blue ship to it. Just like that. Find red ship and tint it red. Perfect. So we've now got two different ships. Yes, they will both fly to the same points. But what about if we extended those points? So... We're going to create a new empty game object and we'll just put it 000. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll assign this called entities. Entity then. And we'll put red ship and blue ship in there. 
I'm going to keep our character out of it because our character is kind of our main property. So, we've got a blue ship. He's got red ship waypoints, but why don't we add some blue ship waypoints? So instead of Planet Manhunt, this blue ship can be a large patrol ship kind of thing. So we can find whatever planet this is called, red ship patrol here, and we can duplicate it and stick it out. We'll call this one blue ship patrol. So we've got it. So we've got copy this and we'll just rename all these down here. So we've placed it. So the first place I want that to go is the same point. That's okay. But number two, I want it to fly all the way over to this planet here. Just randomly fly over. The number three, I want it to fly over here just a little bit. Four, a bit over here. Five, I want it to head back. But then six, I want it to come all the way down to this planet. And then seven, over here. Eight, over here. Nine, to come back over to this planet here. To around here. And then it'll go to number one again. And then carry on. So this blue ship's got a real path on it. But we need to create a class for it at the moment because it hasn't got one. So we're going to call it ID2 just because it's going to be ID2 this time. And we, we do have to assign the blue ship patrol points soon, but not yet. So we're going to go to our character, Miss Scripts, and I'm going to add a new one today. So ship starts, duplicate this one, and make it bracket. It's going to keep all the same properties as red ship, just for now, because I don't have any more, but then we will change it. So, blue ship is its name. That, don't argue, it's just called blue ship. Top speed, it'll be around 10, so this is a fast ship but the health is only 25 so it makes up for it in health it's going to have roughly no shield at all because I don't want it to have a shield and the respect for the player is 50-50 is like nah I don't really care so we can save it we can come back out and re... I'm not gonna, I don't want to refresh this but we'll put number 3 and we've got this one so if we refresh we still haven't made the automatic thing so I'm just gonna literally call this what we did the reason we can't refresh it at the top by going this and then reset is because then we would have to assign all the audio I've st I'm still work I've still got to actually do the tutorial to assign it automatically and um, it's a bit long to do it this time so top speed was 5 health 25 shield 10 and respect for player 50 that'll do so the blue ship's done so that should fly away. The only thing we have got to do is assign it to the blue ship patrol points, then we're done. So we'll come up here, so I'll assign all these and I'll speed it up, so I'll be back in a minute. So I've assigned it and all we're going to do is stick these blue ship patrol points inside the middle planet, because it just makes more sense too. And ba ba boom. So now you should see your blue ship fly everywhere. Oh, he found us. So we'll fly away. Carry on your path. So you see he's going for it. And if we are coming to MISC stats, we can speed him up a little bit. So I'll give him 50. Let's see, he'll go speed him up even more so 500 and you'll see he's gone out of view he's completely gone but he will circle back and come back hopefully there he is you can see him going round so he's just coming back to us now but as you can see he's travelling so fast we can't see him so I'll just wait till he comes back round and type in a slower speed so we can see him So as you can see, he just shot past them. So we should see him any minute now. There he is. You can see him coming along and he shoots off. So he's patrolling, really, really simple. Um, next tutorial we probably will do the automatic assigning. It's a lot easier, but it makes longer loading screens. Your choice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.